A group of students over at USC experienced what some would call a trip of a lifetime, getting the chance to go to the African country of Malawi over the summer. They took pictures and videos that are now on display. News 19's Qatar Dakari Turner talked to a few who went on the trip and has their very unique story. Just going on that, it was probably one of like the top five experiences of my life. USC seniors Daniel Shelley and Skylar Evans both agree. Taking the trip to the African nation of Malawi was well worth the money. So it's cool to talk about and just keep in our lives and it really was life changing just to, you know, not take things for granted. Over about two weeks, Shelly and Evans, along with six other journalism students at USC, went to Malawi, working to help feed people in two villages. They also followed nurses as they provided medical care for 250 people. The pictures that followed aren't the only things they took away from the trip. And there was one that a lot of people came up to me and said they like. A woman was holding her two children. And the feeling of all my friends and family seeing it was just euphoric. The students' photos are on display at 701 Whaley. You tell someone here, we're taking a picture, they all pose, smile, and they just kind of looked at the camera how they usually would, you know. And I, I feel like the pictures that we took were more real. It was really seeing the students see Malawi uh, was like seeing Malawi for the first time uh, again for me. After going to Malawi many times himself, USC professor Van Cornegay decided that he wanted to bring a group of students with him. She's got two crying babies, but she's still still pretty peaceful. Trekking journalism students seemed a natural fit. Seeing the people in the villages, how little they have, but they don't know how little they have, and they're still some of the happiest people I've met in my life. Maybe creating lessons they'll be taking with them. Pictures are a thousand words, like they really are. One picture at a time. In Columbia, Dakari Turner, News 19, WLTX. Well, the photos will be on display for the next two weeks at 701 Whaley in Columbia. It's free and open to the public. The professor says he plans on bringing another group on the trip with him next year.